Alita Schumer. Um, as you can see, this is my family, and my girls have very different personalities, as you can tell from the photo. And this morning, I got to pack their lunch boxes, and it sounds mundane, I know, getting up and packing your kids' lunch box and going through the uh, drop-off line at school. But when I spend just a second thinking about it, even that kind of everyday moment with my girls isn't really mundane at all. It's a miracle. Because after 10 years of struggling with infertility, after being wounded in combat, I was only able to have my girls through the miracle of IVF. The only reason there was PB&Js for me to make this morning, and the only reason there is tiny sneakers for me to Velcro, is because after I came home from war, I had the freedom to seek the health care I needed to make my dream of going from Tammy to Mommy a reality. But now, thanks to Donald Trump, that right to get reproductive care is at risk for millions of women across this great nation. Look, I doubt that Donald Trump even knows the ac what the acronym IVF stands for. Heck, I'm not even sure half the time that he can spell IVF. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and despite the incoherent, delusional, and frankly embarrassing ramblings that came out of his mouth last week, he is the reason that IVF is at risk in the first place. He's like a bank robber who steals cash out of the till and flees the scene. Then he expects a reward for calling the police to report that there had been a crime. So while it may now be convenient for him to claim that his support of IVF is as huge as the made-up crowd sizes at his rallies, we know the truth. He is to blame. He and every other Republican who cares more about staying good with Trump than about doing good for the American people that they are supposedly serving. Women in this country have been through enough. What women don't need is a man who was found liable for sexual abuse controlling what we can or cannot do with our bodies. What we don't need are politicians who have sworn fealty to a convicted felon treating us like we are the criminals. Listen, I'm sure that some of my Republican colleagues are going to run to the nearest camera to claim that their actions have simply been misunderstood. Well, to those colleagues, I say that today's vote is your chance to put your vote where your mouth is, to prove that you believe that every woman in this country deserves the chance to be called mommy without also being called a criminal. Because look, when I went to war to defend this nation's rights and freedoms, I expected that those freedoms to remain when I returned. And I did it because I believe so deeply in the importance of that mission. I'm not asking Republicans to head into combat to show that they care deeply too. I'm not asking them to do anything difficult at all, really. All I'm asking of them is to simply support this bill that could represent millions of women's only chance of starting a family. All I'm asking of them is to vote in a way that reflects the position they claim to have when they're spouting talking points on cable news.